last week, Selling Silicon Valley Group invited Brian Danny from the Be Our Home team onto our weekly sales meeting. And Brian shared his five principles for, or what's allowed him, the five principles that have allowed him to consistently sell more and more real estate every single year since he's gotten into real estate, into the residential real estate space. And last year allowed him to sell in excess of $100 million worth of homes. And there were many takeaways from last week's conversation. And my agents this week have been referencing his talk every single day. They've all been inspired. They've all been influenced by the value that he brought to our organization. And so first and foremost, I wanted to give a, a public recognition to him and, and, and his contribution to my team, to my organization. And I know that I'm not alone. I know that there are many other teams out there that have also received just as valuable contributions from him. And so I want to thank you, Brian, first and foremost, because literally all my agents have been talking about for like the last week has it, it, been you. And it's been that, f those five principles, specifically principle number one, which was get bored. As agents, we want to be fancy. We want to find the new novel way of doing things and we want to just, our natural tendency is to experiment. We're creatures, uh, most of us here, uh, generalization is most real estate agents are more artistic. They're, they're outgoing and, and, and that lends itself to being very chaotic and not very regimented, not very s disciplined, not very strict with yourself. And so Brian's message, his first message was get bored, get comfortable with doing the same shit over and over and over again. You should see, and I wish I could screen share here because I would, you should see Brian's schedule. He shared it with all of us. It was amazing. This dude had his day planned out to the minute. His calendar from 8 a.m. until the time he goes home to his kids every night is laid out with extreme precision. And the deviation from that schedule is very, very nominal. And, and, and he even said so himself. I, I, I am very strict about adhering to the schedule. And so this is something I've, I've talked about in many of my videos is how agents need to become more structured with their day. In that structure, there is freedom. And most of us just don't buy it. We say, oh my gosh, you know, that's, oh, I don't like that schedule stuff. You know, that... Oh, I, I got, in, I got into real estate because of the flexibility. Okay, <laughs> all right. Let's see where that gets you because the flexibility is great. And, and, and being your own boss and, and, the, and the creator of your own destiny, that's what real estate is all about. But the lie, the fallacy that we all tell ourselves is that flexibility is why we're getting into real estate. No. The flexibility is what gives us the ability to stop selling real estate. We get into, I want to sell real estate because it's flexible. It's like, no, the flexibility is what keeps you from selling. So flexibility is your time off. So, uh, so my, and many of us have it backwards. It's like the flexibility is why we're getting into it. Well, if the flexibility is why you're getting into it, it's why you're going to get out of it with no money. Brian's schedule from the time he gets into the office at 8 a.m. to the time he's done. It's the same. It's it's planned out to a T. And so he said it's, his life is very boring. And I chuckled when he said that because I, I find myself too getting bored with my life. Day in, day out, same shit every single day. I drink the same fucking smoothie every day for fuck's sake. And at times it can feel monotonous. It can feel boring. But with consistent effort yields consistent results. And over time, those results can, can multiply through other pillars, which he calls leverage. And that was another one of his five principles. But let's not go there. The first principle is get bored. And Brian, if you're, if you're watching this video right now, you should know since your discussion, every single one of my agents has come to me with a new schedule. They're like, this is the schedule I'm going to use. 
And that's been awesome for, for me as a team leader because I can see the influence that your impact, or I can see the impact that your influence has had over my company. And I wanna thank you for that. And if you, 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 watching this video right now, do we have something in writing that's non-negotiable? Meaning, do we have a schedule that we're adhering to and, and that's non-negotiable? If the answer is yes, awesome. If the answer is no, start there. If the answer is yes to question one, then the answer, question number two is, are we adhering to it? If the answer is yes, chances are you're selling a lot of homes. And so you can literally pause this video and leave this video now. If the answer is, I am not adhering to the schedule. I have one, but I'm not adhering to it. Well, maybe we should re go back and analyze what's not working about it and why we're not adhering to it and then fix that. And then once we fixed it and once we've adjusted it, do it. In creating a schedule, in adhering to one, there is a certain amount of discipline that's required to do that. But through discipline and through consistency, through consistent adherence to the schedule, there is freedom. A hundred million dollars in volume worth of freedom. This is Danny Gould, everyone. Selling Silicon Valley, stay legendary, everybody.